pleasure sorry? pleasure my pleasure my absolutely God. this is Allah. like uh, an encore right yes mile the hum taqreeban 10 saal pehle yes almost yes uh-huh. but then there have been two babies in between and you become an author yes i have with budha atwak it's almost my third baby and i remember you as the go getter corporate honcho you know uh, leading various media organizations and hiring the best talent to author kaise ban gaye i see my life in uh, two halves so the one half where i struggled with um, you know issues and concerns like um, you know lack of employment mm. um and uh, very difficult personal and professional circumstances mm. despite the fact that everything uh, from a secular point of view everything from a worldly point of view everything that the corporate sector really required was in place you know my degree from xlri was in place my degree from uh, delhi university in um, law was in place i had uh, global uh, experience and global exposure i had uh, lived and worked and studied in america uh, i had the finest uh, of uh, references possible uh, you know and uh, yet it was a struggle when i came back from the united states to uh, find employment to find uh, you know to resume uh, my career and it seemed that the world was very unforgiving of uh, this uh, gap on my resume you know? and i was containing a lot of um, dissonance uh, emotional dissonance over this right so um, so it was uh, buddhism that helped me to uh, connect these dots mm-hmm. and to uh, move forward mm. uh, it helped me to understand that my um, internal dissonance was something that was stopping me from mm. moving forward in my life mm. um, it it helped me to um, drop this dissonance to move into um, harmony with my own life to move into a state of um, gratitude um and forgiveness uh to overcome my anger my deeply held anger it's interesting you know more often than not and i'm i'm half way through the book um i like that your book is not preachy right you know it's it's something that everybody can relate to sure and it's an honest endeavor mm-hmm. and that's the reason why it's so relatable mm-hmm. um you know when somebody says uh that is because of x y or z is my problem but when you say i am the reason i am the cause mm-hmm. for the misery that i have in yes. my life yes and i think that comes through very strongly uh in this book yes, yes. yes. yeah okay coming back to the learning specifically from the book yeah if i were to ask you to put in three bullet points you know connecting the dots like you've seen both sides of the aspects right you've seen a successful corporate career mm. right now you're also relishing being an author mm. you've also been abysmally low mm. in your life yes. both personally as and well as professionally. professionally yes um and if if we were to connect the dots between success or be- between being a successful leader mm. and spirituality mm-hmm. in three bullet points what would that be so i think um spirituality and uh, leadership uh, are uh, uh, two sides of the same coin leadership has to begin with leadership of the self mm-hmm. right um we uh, we are very uh, loose uh, with our words and our understanding of uh, what true leadership in life really is we believe if we've handed a manager three reportees you know he or she is now a manager when three grows into 30 then he or she is a leader uh but uh, leadership begins with um, emotional self management emotional uh, maturity uh if i carry a, a tremendous amount of uh, professional insecurity and anxiety in me whether i'm leading a team of 3 or 30 or 300 or 3000 or 3 lakhs uh it's going to reflect you know i'm going to uh, be shouting i'm going to uh, even foster politics on my own team because of my own anxiety i may have uh, not understand this but you know consciously or subconsciously i may choose people who are inferior to me in ability and in qualification wow wow i may choose to hire people i may choose to select people who are not going to subvert my so called leadership 
right? And this is a pattern that uh, as an HR uh, professional, um, uh, you know, I have seen over, over the last 25 years of my HR career that people don't like to hire people smarter than themselves. Wow. Uh, the second aspect of this is um, totally and completely respect for um, self and for others. So while respect for self, I would still give into uh, saying that this is a part of um, the emotional leadership of self. Mm -hmm. uh, respect for others is very, very uh, critical to being able to successfully lead a business to profitability. Mm -hmm. And in fact, now with uh, global studies, and particularly in America, there is enough research to show that um, respect is the bedrock on which profitability rests. Wow. Uh, when you look at uh, the businesses which have uh, reported um, uh, quantum growth and extraordinary growth, mm -hmm. not just incremental and arithmetical growth, mm -hmm. exponential growth mm -hmm. in uh, business results, you'll see that they're linked to uh, respect for the environment. So there, there might be a green uh, aspect to that particular business. Uh, there is respect for uh, the customer, mm. there is respect for um, creativity, there is a respect for innovation, right? These are the businesses which have uh, taken the world over, right. you know, the old order doesn't hold true anymore, right. globally uh, right. or otherwise, right? right? So, so would it be safe to say that, you know, we've always wondered whether giving back people would feel that you know giving back though I don't like the term giving back it's sure. more like sharing sure. yeah sharing sure. back with the the not so privileged actually makes for good business sense yes it absolutely does it absolutely does but the intent has to be right the intent okay. has to be okay. right you know so that's um, it's not about being manipulative Got it. uh, but it's not saying that this is my calculated move to make more profit mm -hmm. but it has to come because then only will everybody around you resonate with that Correct. you know uh, otherwise it's just a gimmick mm -hmm. and people see through gimmicks uh, mm -hmm. pretty fast right and the third aspect is um, being uh, empowered taking responsibility for one's own self is the biggest step in empowerment So Gitanjali, uh, interestingly, success has various definitions with various people and I sure. love to know uh, everybody's you know, perspective as far as that is concerned and I love the fact that you said that spirituality is another name for success. Yes, it is. How do you say that? But success is not always another name for spirituality. Really? Yes. Okay. Finest definition of success is um, actually uh, uh, one uh, where you feel the most comfortable with yourself and with all that your life is. Wow. That is success. Wow. So being comfortable is not being complacent. Mm. It is not a state of life where you're not striving, mm. where you're not working. Mm. In fact, you're working very, very well mm. because uh, uh, as most people in the creative arts mm. uh, would know that um, and they sort of access this uh, zone much easier mm. uh, you know you are in that zone where you're giving your best with calmness composure hope mm. optimism mm. and inclusion mm. right that is success mm.